Well, hello again. It's uh, been probably about a month since I shot my last vlog. That was when I was at the Super Bowl. If you haven't seen when I was at the Super Bowl, my vlog with Nike, definitely check that out. It is the last video on my channel besides this one. But today, I'm shooting another vlog. There are tons of stuff going on with the channel. I'm in the process of trying to redo my studio so you guys have not seen reviews in a while. But the studio that I have right now is a big mess. If you've been a long time follower, you know that I used to have turf in this room. It used to be like, kind of like a locker room field setup. Then I convert it to more of a cleaner studio and I'm going through another transformation, another gonna change it up. And so I have to go to the store, get some stuff, gonna look at some light boxes. You know, if you live in the Midwest, you know the weather we've had has been terrible. Um, this is like the first sunny day. Like check this out. This is like the first sunny day that we've had in a long time. And so I wanted to get some videos done today, but I also have to go to the store. Gonna pick up some light boxes so you guys can see some of the darker cleats that I have. Uh, you guys have always said, like, I need better lighting, I need better lighting. So that's what I'm gonna do today. You guys are gonna be along for the ride and gonna see some lighting. I'm also going to be at Dick's helping a friend, Dick's Sporting Goods, if you guys don't know what that is. It's one of the major sporting stores out here. Um, she, it's a she, she is playing flag football. I don't know when the last time she played is. So we're gonna see, but she told me, she seen my channel, she reached out and uh, she needs some help getting cleats and different things like that. So we're gonna go look at some cleats and gloves. Little known fact for you guys is that I often go to Dick's, um, maybe every couple of weeks, and uh, help people shop for football stuff. Uh, just kind of incognito, walking around the store, um, you know, sad to say, but I usually know more about the football section than the store associates do. So I love to help out parents, kids, uh, athletes looking for gear. So I'm going to be helping her out. You guys are going to see some of that. And then take a look at all the stuff that I have that you guys are waiting for me to do reviews on. You guys saw the Union Box, both these gloves. These were in the U.S. Army All-American game from Adidas. Both these are brand new. The Adidas Zeros and the Freaks coming out. If you haven't seen that unboxing, definitely check that out. I've got two pairs of the new Adidas Zero Prime Knit cleats. These are the all-white version. Again, review coming soon. These are the all black version, with you coming soon. Also over here, I've got the new Freak Prime Knit Boost Cleats. These are ridiculous. As you can see, I have tested them out and played in them. I had the review. I did the unboxing. I haven't done the review, but these cleats are amazing. I can't wait to get the light box so I can do the review for you guys. Then I've got, those are my Adidas stuff that I have right now. Tons of Nike stuff, still in boxes over here. I've got all different sets of Nike stuff. This little special pack in here from the Super Bowl. I still have to open up and show you guys. I don't even remember what's in here. Oh, here are the OBJs. I still haven't reviewed these for you guys. These, I definitely want to tell you more about them. So that video's got to be coming out soon. And you guys have seen these. Don't know if I'll make a video on them. I'll definitely post them on my Instagram. But I might, I'll make a little short video just to tell you about the changes. Because Nike did come out with three different editions of the Vapor Untouchable 3s. Um, and you guys might want to know that. We're going to go get these light boxes and then I'll see you guys at Dick's. I don't know if you guys have seen any changes that I've made uh, since I haven't really made vlogs in a long time. One thing that never gets old is driving this. So I picked this baby up last year, last summer. And uh, if you follow my car channel, some of you may not know, but I have a car channel too. And uh, my GTR is on it a lot. But man, is this thing fast and it never, ever, ever gets old driving. But um, maybe you guys will see more of that, maybe on the vlog, uh, but definitely on my other channel, Boost the Bunny. I'm gonna put that in the description. If you guys like cars, like I do, and you want to see uh, what's going on in my life with cars, definitely look in the description and uh, subscribe to the Boosted Bunny channel. There's going to be a lot more content coming from there as well. But uh, let's hop in, go for a ride, check out this lighting studio. Ooh, baby, on that track, I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in that zoom, zoom. Oh, no, please don't make that call. We don't want no cars, they ain't ready for the cars. Ooh, baby, on that track, I'm going room. Some more, and my going roar. I want you to work. I heard about 
your resume Skirt, open up the sesame Work, oh no no don't pressure Just got the Dodds camera on the north side in Chicago and so overwhelmed It has so many different lighting options, much more than I thought If you guys can see some of these, they got like the super bright, super professional looking lights down here Thought I might want to get one of those, uh, but a whole kit is like $800 and I'm not sure if I'm gonna spend that much right now, so to help me out, check some other ones. I think I'm just trying to get a two light soft box, but so far I think I'm gonna get something like this. Uh, except instead of the umbrellas, a uh, soft box. Hopefully that makes some of the things I'm shooting. Audio is something that is super, super important, and I just saw the best product ever. Uh, it says it's for the iPhone, but I'm gonna try it on my Google Pixel, or I'm gonna look into it before I come back and get it. But the video mic me. I never even knew they made this, so if you guys are shooting with your phones out there, this could be something that uh, could be really good for you. Yeah, roll out with the referee. Curb, yeah, yeah, I'm turning left now. Burn, yeah, the rubber's on my chest now. First, no, you're not the first one. They done told me I'm the worst one. Yeah, always the pedal to the floor. Yeah, I'm Martin Senna. And I don't know what's in my trunk. I'm always front and center. Try to Rari down the coast. Yeah, rocking my new rope. Yeah, always on the road. And I don't need no sweater. Ooh, baby, on the track. I'm going room, room. Try and catch me when I pull up in It's time to go cleat and glove shopping. What you guys have been waiting for? This is Aaron. Hi. And uh, yeah. we're going cleat and glove shopping with yeah. her today. And, okay, so. Right, you know I have a YouTube channel. I'm aware. I'm yes. Saying, yeah. And okay, so what's your experience with flag football? Um, I was the Northeastern Wisconsin champion in 1994. Okay, so oh, 94. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought she was gonna say like 2014. No, I haven't played in a minute. And since 94, Correct. I don't even know how. I don't think all my followers. Some of you guys weren't even born in 94. Thank you. That was a helpful fact. I'm yes. Glad you. Okay. Yes. So um, I'm excited for you though. Thank you. Um, did you see anything that you like so far? Because um, she was here before me, so. Yeah, I was. Well, it looks like I have a choice between women's soccer or women's softball cleats. Mm, is that wrong? This is a football channel. Okay, but so I now, don't know if they have women's we, we will find you some, even if we have to go to another Dick's in another state, city, street. A lot of football players often like soccer cleats um, because they're lighter. I there was a women's section. There was no women's, I mean, some of them look dope. I kind of like these. She but they're not ones. for women. Wait, what and do you like about these? I'm curious. I mean, uh, okay. I feel like it's a pretty basic color scheme. Yeah, black and gold is tight, though. Agree. Agree. That's I thought you were going to talk about this, though. This is like, like a little Nike. leopard. Like. Oh, well, I wasn't. I didn't even get the cat print. I just liked it. It looks simple. Yeah, classic. I like those. Good job, Adidas, for at least giving women two options. Nike, I'm sure you have more options too. So actually, this is probably a call up more for Dick's Sporting Goods. Interesting. Okay. Right, because the the retailers or the manufacturers make them, but the retailers have to stock them. I would like a good shoe. Yes, okay, that's what so we're, we're here for. Yeah, well, you guys have actually you look like you have some expert choices. Yeah, Those are the ones I like. These are cool. They're men's, but you know. Agree. I like. <laughs> Agree. Right, but it, did you, you guys would like more women's options, so tell the world, this is your chance to tell the yeah, world about I, like... I would. We want I would more women's best cleats. shoes, soccer shoes every year. Yeah. It's like, I, I always have to get, to get men's like, soccer shoes, because the women's soccer shoes are just like pink Adidas. What's your, what's okay, what's your favorite brand, uh, if you have one, for soccer and basketball? Nike. Nike, okay, if you could have one message to the Nike <laughs> managers, because they watch this video. They do? They do. What would you tell them? Mr. Nike manager? Um, or Mrs. Or Mrs. Or or Mrs. Mrs. Sorry, it's my bad. Well, then she manager. would know that. Yeah, she, she, okay, if it's a Mrs., that's even worse. Yeah, that's she okay. should know. Her hands might be tied. No, untie well, them. No, <laughs> yeah. untie your hands. Yeah, Mrs. like, we need, I don't know. They didn't even used to have, like, men's and women's sizes on the boxes. Like, yeah, it used so to now, just now be we men's. can see that. And right. I'd have to, like, so, convert it and. Yeah. So this is step one. About a year ago, we had to convert. Yeah. We had to do the conversions. Right, so that's step one. And Next step is... We need like more colors. Like these are cool, but like more colors. Not Have just you... like pink ones. Not just pink. Oh, Have you heard the term pink it and shrink it? No. That is a term that mean? they would use. They'd say, hey, we got to make a women's version and we're going to pink it and shrink it. Make it smaller, oh. turn it pink. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's I like not going to fly anymore. It doesn't. Yeah. No. 
I mean, I, I understand what this makes it so stupid. Like, I just what? Dix, Adidas, Nike, anyone else, Under Armour, if you're listening, these are the future leaders of America and also our future all-stars in across sports. Gotta get no more pink and shrink it. For all you guys out there, you guys ask me about the bottoms of cleats all the time and I've explained it so many times, but I'll do it again. So these are, the cleat point is smaller. Um, so it's gonna dig in a little bit better on turf. When you get to something like this where it's nice and wide, this is gonna be more for grass and more for durability. Um, and this is gonna be a little bit of a cheaper material, hence the price. So for you, Aaron, you are not gonna, you're gonna wanna stay away from all of these. Yeah, and these aren't stylistically appealing. No, they're not. And okay. people, you will get made fun of. Perfect. You will get made fun of. I mean, I'm If you're though. older than 12 and you're wearing these, you will get made fun of. This is a little bit better, but um, because this is a football channel, we have to get her the best stuff, which means we may have to go to another Dick's. She saw one glove and is like, those. Out of the seven or eight options, I feel like okay. this is the one. Let's do it. So I probably need a medium, but they probably Let's don't. try them on, let's see your hands. Well, I have, I have good catching hands. Let's go with that. Does that mean you have big hands? Um, I have good catching hands. <laughs> thanks, thanks a lot. Because she has big hands. <laughs> but that's good though. I want to see her moss some people tomorrow. Oh, wow. Yeah. This is a large? Yep. Medium, I would say. We don't have a medium. Open your pan. Yeah. I think you need a medium or... Yeah, because I think a kid's okay, extra large might be too small. small. Are they supposed to be tight on your tips? They are. But, you know, people have different hand shapes. So, you know... People have different hand shapes, so gloves might not fit perfectly because your palms might be bigger, your th fingers might be thicker, longer, skinnier. There's all different types of things, but I think this version was too big for her, so she's gonna try small. The glove doesn't fit. Don't totally fit. If it doesn't fit, you must have quit. We made it to the second Dicks, mm -hmm. and they still didn't have a huge selection, but they do have the new Vapor Untouchable Threes. You guys have seen this before. I have a pair of these. I got them from Nike at the Super Bowl. And now, I think Aaron, I mean, that's the, those are the ones, I if you like, like this, them. But this, to me, it like might oversell uh, my skill set. Like you know if you come Sanders? with like a gold, and I know I'm gonna come in hot tomorrow, but I'm not gonna come in Deion Sanders hot. So like, I'm not sure that this is right for You've me. You've heard the statement, look good, feel good, play good. Sure, but there's like a limit to that. There's, there's no limits. Okay. No limits. You know what Mike Tyson said? I don't. Mike Tyson said that, you know, he would win the fight before he even starts. Okay. That's what I think that's, that's what that intimidation. That's what say to you? Yeah. What can you speak about, like, the product quality since you apparently have a pair? It's my favorite cleat. Ever. It's my favorite cleat ever and my favorite cleat that is on the market right now. I can't speak for the stuff that's coming out this year because mm -hmm. I haven't played in those yet, even though I've seen them. Mm -hmm. But in terms of what is on the market, my all around cleat, that was clearly she has not seen my top five cleat video of 2018. I haven't seen. Cause that was number one. The top one. Right? That's, num that's number one. <laughs> if they have your size, I think that's the, those are the I ones feel there. like those are a bit much, but I'll try them. But they look a bit much. They look amazing. But this is like a flag football for like a, a work thing, so. Looks yeah, but you, you're investing in your future. Okay. Investing in her future. I like these. All right, let's see which. I like these, they look Cleating. sleek. They look pretty simple. This is my style. So these right here. Sure. I don't know much about soccer. Okay. But from what I do know yep. is that when you look at the upper, because of the way they have the laces, it's a pre precision shoe mm -hmm. um, to make sure that you, you know, absolutely have precise aim with your kick. Now when we look at the bottom, yep. you're missing that toe cleat. However, this, I mean, these will be pretty good. They'll give you multi-directional traction. Um, they have the pivot plate this, here. The color scheme is on point for me. It's all about the colors, not the performance for you, huh? No, the performance I'll handle. The shoe is just like secondary. It's not a problem. I think, and I like that they're lightweight. I like that they're sort of like narrow. The cut too. At least it does have a good heel count. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. The cut is super low. Super okay. low through here. Yep. A lot of ankle movement. Um, which again is different for soccer versus football. But we're playing on a turf that soccer players play on all the time. No, but football players play on it too. It's the movements that matter, not the surface. Well, okay. Let's just try these on. I like these. Can I convince her to get football cleats over soccer cleats? It's this the is... one that 
you like their like the gold is I think you decided on some? I did. Yep. Here's the moment of truth. Okay. So I should see which one she's gonna go with. I feel like these Drum are, roll. they're way more No style. Say it ain't so. No, they're comfortable. I think they're mediums work. Yes, for my ample sized hand, the medium <laughs> is exactly right. Show me the back hand. Which model did you choose? Oh, what do you mean? The model glove. Oh, I don't know what that means. Paper Jet Fives. Okay, well, they have glitter. They have a nice glittered palm. They feel pretty comfortable. Do you kind want of, to even try Kind of one? skeletal. No. Like, you know. <laughs> No, not even like I'm a decisive, the Snoops. I'm a decisive consumer. The Snoops are over the top. I feel like you're just your style is a bit, it's a bit flashy for flag football for me. It's a bit flashy in everything, including flag football, because okay. that's the only one way to roll. What a day! I can't believe the time went by so fast. But I did pick up a light box, so it was a good day and uh, helped Aaron get some cleats and gloves. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Definitely check out my review videos on all the stuff you saw today. I think I reviewed just about everything uh, from a clean glove perspective you would have seen in the video. And I'll see you guys next time.